He's an ardent student of philosophy, yet has the mind to dissect the mechanics of a golf swing. Contemplation is the highest form of activity, so if you want to get to understand yourself, there's so many great thinkers before us that we can take aspects of what they said, apply it to our life, and, and see if that makes things easier or harder. All these principles come from Newton's laws. I'm trying to provide my student with as best a possible scenario for them. He is Sean Foley, the newest name in the ultra-competitive world of golf instruction. I've got a lot of people to thank. Sean Foley and Gio Valiente I've been working closely with, and it's nice to have the hard work pay off. Sean Foley has really changed my game around, he's, he, and I think he, he's changed my life forever, so uh, I owe a lot to Sean. Foley has been instructing tour players since 2006, working exclusively with Stephen Ames. Ames' back injury forced him to seek a new approach and simultaneously launched Foley's career. My old golf swing puts a lot of stress on my back. That has obviously hindered me uh, throughout my career and I've had to change my golf swing to help my back. And uh, a lot of it is geometry and physics. Stephen called me end of October 2006 and said, look, uh, I want to come down and see you. I'll spend three days. If I like it, we'll go from there. And that's really the genesis of our relationship. The two are still paired together, working diligently on the process. That sheer force is just obviously a lateral force. Torque is a rotational, so if you move that thing forward, you're going to turn anyways. Well, it's not really the concept anymore. Once the concept's been laid out and you kind of have that blueprint to where his knowledge level of what he's trying to do is there, then really as a coach, I'm just there for exaggeration management. And the rest is just making sure that they're getting the reps in properly. For Sean, it's his ability to get across to people a lot easier than other teachers. When people say, you know, you take it to the top here and 80% of your weight should be this way, isn't necessarily the case. You actually have to get heavier here to get lighter and jump up. So the jump up just is a function of you get in through there, you load, all those forces are going down into the ground and they're going to come back up into you. Yeah. We've talked about players that I felt were good enough to work on kind of what he thought his, not so much the goal swing, but more the temperament, what kind of person he was. And uh, he's helping Hunter with that, he's helping Sean with that. I think in that respect, it's, it's been fun for him, learning how everybody thinks and how to be able to teach them. That's, that's the beauty of teaching, understanding the person. Foley's impact shows just how effective his methods are, with a stellar client base including Hunter Mayhem, Justin Rose, and Sean O'Hare. Even though I'm the coach and I'm kind of helping them design what they want, they still drive the car. Everyone I coach on the PGA Tour were on the PGA Tour before I started coaching them. So how much does any coach develop a player on the PGA Tour physically? It's minimal in percentage. But 2% on every round for two or three years is probably a lot of strokes. Winston Churchill said at the start of the Second World War, to those who much is given, much is expected, and I've been given a lot. Stephen Ames gave me a chance, Sean O'Hare gave me a chance, Hunter Mahan, Rosie, Parker, all the guys who give me a chance to put myself into a position that I always dreamed about doing. So just saying thank you isn't enough. You know, you have to pay it forward. Once you understand that you have the ability to help people, I don't think there's any greater feeling.